Very well, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. Last time, I had told you that we should have gone here on the Chocobo farm to do some Chocobo related things. Actually, I was wrong. And the volume is way too high, sorry. There we go. Okay. Actually, I was wrong. I mean, you could, you could start doing some Chocobo stuff, but you can't actually complete it. We'll have to wait until comes back into the party but while we're here we can do a couple of things first of all we can take a chocobo lure material from here we can prepare no well actually no well we could we could do that we could do that we can prepare the ground for the mission that's upcoming so what we're gonna do is talk to this guy oh what is that what has this world come to starts falling and everything with things the way they are now, how about raising a Tsukubo? No, I'm not trying to persuade you for money, just because of the state of things in the world. I thought it would be a good and healthy thing for you to raise some Tsukubos. Hmm, you just happen to be in luck. It just so happens that we aren't taking care of any Tsukubos for anyone else, so... I could take care of 6 Tsukubos right now. For 10,000 gil per Tsukubo, how about it? Okay, you can talk to him again, you could take care of the Tsukubos. Yes, to raise a chocobo, you'll need a chocobo stable, and they rent for 10,000 gil. Currently, I can rent up to 6 chocobo stables. If you rent a chocobo stable, we will keep up to 4 of the chocobos you catch in the fenced area outside. At a later date, you can select the chocobo you want to like to put in your chocobo stable. Chocobo stable costs 10,000 gil. Rent it. Thank you. My grandson thank you, sir. takes care of the chocobos. He's in the chocobo stable at the far right of the farm. Please tell him what you want. Sure! Now you could go ahead and buy all, all 6 of them. They aren't that expensive, only 10,000 gil, so you should go ahead and buy all of them. I'm not doing that just because, well, I'm gonna do that later in the Chocobo related video. Anyway, we can talk to Chocobo Billy. And he can, you, you can basically manage your Chocobos with him. You can move them from outside to inside, you can feed the ones you have inside, you can mate them if you have two of the opposite sex inside. I mean, sex gender, sorry. <laughs> opposite genders. Or you can release Chocobo, which basically deletes them. <laughs> from the game, you can ride the chocobo that you have outside, you basically can take it and bring it outside on the world map. As for now, we're just gonna buy... We're gonna buy a Mimet Green. Unless we have already one. No, we don't. Okay, I'm gonna buy one. This is needed for later. It will get... This will get us a new material soon. Also, it's gonna buy a bunch of Gizzle Greens. Since... In the chocobo video, we will catch chocobos. That does I need greens. And since those are so cheap, I'm just gonna buy a bunch. Like 90. Okay, now we're ready to proceed. Since we can't do the Chocobo side quest that they wanted to do, instead, we gotta go on with the story, because there's really nothing else to, ours for us to do. So, let's go... Where we have to go is over here. And this is a new town, we haven't seen it yet. So, we have to park this around, I don't know, what's the closest point I can park this here? Okay, let's go into this town. There's a bunch of things you have to do right at the start here. As soon as you enter, there's a bunch of things you can do. You have to, actually. Okay, do not go over there, instead, just go to the right and start checking each shop once, one by one. you also always find this lady running around like crazy. You want to speak to her every time you find her. But anyhow, that overgrown moon is not going to fall down on us, isn't it? This is no joke. We've got to start stocking up on supplies before they're all gone. Out of the way. Hey, move it, move it. Alright then, what do you have to sell? Blah, 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 we always been going cash, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, okay. Just show me your stuff. Bye. Uh, blah, 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 hyper. Actually, I don't have any hypers. I'll buy a bunch. How about these as well? Oh, the 10. There we go. Remedies there, zeros, no, we don't really need them. 22 tens, that's enough. I think I'm good. Now what you wanna do... There's, see this little white chocobo here? You have to speak to him. What's wrong? You're sure friendly all of a sudden. Oh, so that's it, you want the Samuel and Greens, don't you? He actually means the Mimit Greens, but that's misspelled. Oh well. Give some Samuel and Greens, yeah, it's the Mimit Greens we bought before. Well, okay, here, go ahead and eat. The chocobo looks like it enjoys it in the greens. 
Hehe, <laughs> how cute. I just want to tickle him. Tickle behind his ears. Resign Matira from the Tsukubo. That only works if you tickle him um, uh, under his ears. You can you can get to know this by the Chocobo Sage, eventually he'll tell you that why Chocobo likes to be tickled under the ears. Anyway, what we just received is a very nice materia. Now I have to find a space to put it though, because that's pretty nice and I want to start leveling it up as soon as possible. You know what? The hell with Quake. I'll take this, I'll take the new materia. And arrange everything. The new materia got us contained. It keeps contain magic. Equips freeze, break, tornado, and flare. And if you played some Final Fantasy, you know that tornado and flare are indeed powerful. But well, tornado isn't really that great here, but flare, it's okay, I guess. So you know what? Take it. Start leveling it up. Also, it's a pretty good materia to um, do. I want to show that to you. Um, um, it's a range exchange. I'm just gonna show something really great that you can do with the contain material. I'm uh, just gonna use this slot here. You know. uh, contain is over here, so I'm just gonna put this here. So, contain added effect. Now, contain as I'm gonna show that to, to you again. Freeze, break, tornado, and flare. Wild Freight does not inflict any status problem. Freeze can inflict a uh, stop, I think. Break can inflict a uh, stone or petrify, whatever you want to call it. And tornado, I think, can inflict confusion. I believe. Let's see on the status. We should have. Yep. Confusion, petrify, and stop. So now, if you keep adding the fact. With contain in the armor, in, I mean in the weapon, you can inflict those status if you keep it in the armor, you're protected against those. But since we have uh, ribbons, we don't really need to be protected against status, do we? Anyway, let's put the materials where they were. So, get away. And a range exchange. Simba takes it. Simba takes the container. And I can put these two guys over there. Okay. Okay, we're done to, with that shop, but we need to check out every, every other shop. So push select and start taking out every shop that you see. You again, you aren't here holding up the goods to you, are you? Don't reach in front of me, everything in the store is mine. I've got money to burn, I've been saving like mad just for a time like this. Come on, out of the way, move will you, move! The reason why we're speaking to this woman is because if you don't, Later on, you'll... well, if you do, actually, let's say it like this. If you do, later in the game, she opens up a shop for you. Uh, okay, so we have HP+, plus, MP+, plus, Transform, Gravity, Destruct. Uh, we have everything here, so I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, you come again, yeah, right. Okay, so next up is up there. Hi there. Oh, there's not much time left. You never know when that moon is gonna come crashing down. We are in the Majora's Mask, that's on the moon. It's a piece of something. When it all comes down to it, this world is about money, material things. If you got them, you can get by whenever, whatever. But buy, gotta buy, 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 I'm gonna shop until I drop. Okay, man, how about you? Welcome to the charity store, store of love and courage, where can I get you today? Let's see what you have. Uh, there's all weapons. Well, there's a crystal bangle, but you know what? I, I, I like I like my double weapon armor, so you know what? I'm not gonna buy anything. Of course, if you want to buy. Oh, by the way, also you may have you may see here the Nathaniel as a bump line. This can be bought in Zunon. Just go to Zunon, take the elevator. And the first area, and then enter the second shop. You can buy this bump line. There's a double growth weapon, so now he has a four slot double growth weapon, like anybody else, basically. Okay, now over here in this house, there is somewhere on the bed, I think. So there's like an elixir hidden here somewhere. 
Actually, I'm a beautiful maid. I just work here in the accessory store part time. Everything here can compare with the best goods anywhere, so about one. So yeah, she can sell you stuff. Let's see what you have here. Amulet, fire ring, nullifies lightning, luck plus ten. I don't know, God is gonna buy one of those. An ice ring too. Both ring we already have one. Favorite ring we have. We have we had everything except two of them, so that's fine. But I believe there's like an elixir somewhere here. Uh, where is it? It's like hidden, or I have to talk to the people here. You say you don't know when the stars are gonna fall out of the sky, is that for real? I still don't believe it. How could this be happen? Okay, what about this old man here? Ancient weapon? End of the world? I don't know nothing about that. I'm gonna live to be a hundred. There's tons of stuff I still gotta do. This is just the beginning. And what heaves is Shinra and Soldier done about it? Tell me, they're a waste. This should be kind of an el This should be. I know, there's an elixir somewhere here. Maybe it's only later, blah blah blah, yeah, I know. I know that you can kind of steal an elixir somewhere around this house. Oh, maybe, maybe that'll happen only later. I believe it's on the bed or something. You know what, I'll check, in, I'll check that out later. I don't care. I don't care! Fine. Wait, wait a minute. Maybe it's from the dogs? Or the cats, I don't know. Alright, whatever. Whatever, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'll, I'll get out. I'm gonna get out of here. Maybe it's later, maybe it's later, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure about this. Okay, now what you're gonna do is... You wanna walk... Around here. You should find... If you mess circle, you should find something. Huh? What would that could be? There's something stuck deep inside that looks like a key. It's hard to get out. Well, I'll just let it go for now. Hmm. So, ah, uh, okay. I think uh, I know what how to do this. So if I go in here and I check this door, go out of the way, crazy lady. Okay. No good. I wonder if it's locked. And now I walk to where the key is, and I've heard the guide saying that you only have to walk because if you run, you'll mess this up. Don't know if that's true, but you know what? Just to be sure, I'm just gonna walk there. It's not a long walk after all. There we go. We should be able to pick this up now. Okay, and just move it like this and push that. Okay, I got it out. I saw the beat up useless old key. Now we can use the beat up useless old key on the door we just checked. And see if we can open it. Okay. Crazy lady, go out of the way, thank you. Oh yeah, should I try the old beat up key? Use the beat up old key. Okay, this is it. Hmm, huh, this is pretty tight. Huh? Oh no, it broke. Now I can't get it out. Is something wrong? Uh, no. What am I gonna do? It doesn't matter what you say, you'll get you get just different scenes. But you'll get what you're here for anyway, so I'm just gonna tell them the truth. I, I'm sorry, I forced the key and it broke. Huh? Key? You mean the one to that door? Hahaha, <laughs> that's a good one. Of course there's no key. It's a wall. We just painted a door on it. What? It's not a real door? That's right. We drew it on there to make it feel like you could pass through into another world. Sorry to have surprised you. It's not much on a policy, but please take this. Really? Thank you. George and the others survived Cursed Drink. If possible, we're hoping to pass through a dream door like that one into another world. I got the feeling that you all might be able to make my dreams come true in my place. Weird, isn't it? Okay, so the cursed drink we just got. It's an accessory. Let's see what it does. It's a cursed string. It increases H status, but it puts you on one fourth of your HP. So it basically puts you near death status. 
So yeah, you, you you always are in low elf, even though it doesn't really work as long as you equip it. But you know, it's powerful because it increases your stats. But you know, but there are some power, some weapons for Georgia that actually are more powerful the less HP she has. So yeah, that could be great, I guess. Oi! Hey, aren't you a beaut? This year's me deal. It's quite a little hot spring town. It's the perfect place for us, our folks like us to live out our lives. I hear that things ain't so peaceful on the outside, but here it's still nice and quiet. And also that cursed ring there... Let's see if we can enter this house before... Okay, never mind. There's a scene here, so I triggered it. Never mind. What's the matter? Are you all alone? You got lost, didn't you? Separated from someone you love? Silly thing. It's been about a week now since you washed up here on the shore. Poor buggy headed young thing. It was really sad, but weird. It was holding this really long sword. I don't know, the old thing feels unlucky to me, but the amazing thing was those weird blue eyes. What? Wait a minute, what did you just say? Excuse me, the young person you were just talking about. Yeah, a villager found him a little ways down the coast. It was about a week ago, I think. Yeah, poor kid. He must have drifted from somewhere pretty far away. Faro! It must be! It's Faro! Over here! You found him! So where is he? Is he safe? Where is he now? Yeah, up ahead here. At the uh, clinic. He's alive! Fado, Fado's alive! Fado! Halt! Fado? Here now, the way you're running around here, you'd think Meteor fell or something. I'm sorry, but I heard that a friend of mine was being taken care of here. A friend? Oh yeah, that young fellow? Don't worry, your friend is next door. But I'm afraid his condition is... Here? Over here? Fado? Oh, Fado, I'm so glad you're safe! Fado? Uh, uh... What's wrong, Fado? Uh, Gurk. Fado, what happened to you? Mako poisoning, quite an advanced case. It appears this young man has been exposed to a high level of Mako energy for a protected period of time. He probably has no idea who or where he is, he is now. Poor fellow, his voice doesn't even work. He's literally miles away from us. Some place far away where no one's ever been, all alone. Doctor! How horrible. Fado. Ahem. Let us excuse ourselves. Listen, would you all mind waiting outside? Why? What do you want me to do? Please, Fado, talk to me. Tell me you see me. That you can hear me. Tell me, please. I came this far believing in the memories we have together. This isn't happening. This is too cruel. Oh, Fado, I...
Tell me, Doctor, is Father right? I mean, will he heal? I'll say it again, he's got micro poisoning. I've never seen a case this bad. An immense amount of mecha drenched knowledge was put into his brain all at once. No, hum no normal human could have survived it. It's a miracle it did. No wonder, he fell into the live stream and was washed up here. But remember, the light of hope can be found anywhere. Listen, if you give up hope, what will happen to him? Hmm, I know you'll recover. Fellow was a strong member of Soldier. Are you alright, Georgia? Yes, I'm sorry I had you all worried. I have something I want to tell you all. I don't care about anything else, only Fado. I I want to be by his side. Yes, that's best. Do what you wish. I'm sorry everyone, at a time like this... That's alright, we'll be by again. Take care of him. Right. Should be getting back to the Eyewind. What we're we gonna do now? What can we do? Huh? Ain't there nothing we can do? And don't go telling us to wait for Pharaoh to get better. Oh, I've got some news. Yeah, what? Did you spy? Yeah, I've already told you I was. But Yahaha and Yahaha are up to something. Wanna eavesdrop? Now then, we're faced with two issues. One, destroy Meteor. Two, remove the bear around North Cave and defeat Suffolk. Any ideas? Yeah, <laughs> we already solved the first problem. Meteor will soon be smashed to bits. The plan has already been put in motion, namely to collect huge material from each region. Well... Huge materials are high density special type of material made for a special compression process in macro reactors. The energy extracted from it is 330 times the strength of normal materia. <laughs> How about that? We will gather all the used materia together and ram it into Meteor. That will cause a huge explosion, reducing Meteor literally to bits. You're going to ram Meteor? Do you think we have the, technolo the technology to do it? Don't worry about that. More importantly, we've got to collect used materia from this area. We already collected materia from Nibelheim. All that's left is Corel and Fort Condor. I've already dispatched troops to Corel. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Corel! What else can we do to Corel? And the huge materia. You mean the huge materia, don't you? I've heard about it. When our small materia nears the larger one, something should happen. I'm certain of it. That's why we're using the power of materia in our fight. Can't let Shimura get a hold of the huge materia. Besides, when Fado gets back, I wanna show him this huge materia, he's gonna be shocked. So, what are you saying, Barakus? Even though you're always knocking him, you really want Fado to return? I ain't saying nothing about nothing. You just shut your face. Every group has got to have a leader. And that's me. Or at least I want to be. But I ain't cut out to be no leader. I never knew that till lately. And that's what it is. Huh? 
What? What's going on? You've been chosen to be the new leader. Pain in the ass, forget it. But for us to fight, we gotta have Highwind. And you. We needed to save the planet. And who's running this ship? You. That's why you're our new leader. Ain't no one else can. Hmm, the ship's gonna save the planet, huh? Ain't that gonna be just a little tough? Oh man, that went straight to my heart. I'm a man too. Okay, I'll do it. Everyone, follow me. Alright, now here's the first job. The operation room is waiting for you. Yeah! So now you're getting control of Timothy. And we just gotta go to the operation room to make up a party. Yo, Timothy! When you're ready, we're heading for the core reactor. Come on, Mr. Leader, you better hurry. Timothy? Yeah, you can speak to Alessia if you want. She'll have some things to say. I know you're all dying to talk with a babe like me, but just leave me alone, the ship makes me work. <sighs> right, fine, let's go to the operation room really quickly. And let's talk to the guy on the left. Timothy, thank you for a job well done. Okay, let's form a party. Barracus will be in, because we're going to Corel and that's the spitting. It's gonna take us, yeah. We need some level up members here. And once that is done, we'll just go in out. And unless you will be, will enjoy taking being off the ship for a little bit. She she suffered ship sickness or something. Ear sickness? Oh, I don't know even how to say that. Okay, let's take off. Okay, well, can I land? Thank you. Okay. So next time, on Final Fantasy 7, we will be going straight into Coral. I mean, we're gonna do one little thing and then we're gonna go straight to Coral. So I'm just going to save all my memory card under um, grassland area. I'm gonna substitute this file here. And I'll see you guys next time.